Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nature Talks podcast. Today we are here with Shreya. And Hello. Hi Shreya, how are you? I am great. Shreya is uh, one of the interns here at NDNS. And Shreya, tell us about your work at NDNS. <laughs> how has it been so far? I mean, I like it because you give me all the work that I like, <laughs> which yeah. works out. Yeah, uh, so you you have an interest for birds, right? Yes. That's why we've been giving you all the bird projects. Yeah. And why do you like birds so much? What's not to like, <laughs> honestly? I mean... Tell us a few things, what you like about the birds. First of all, that they can fly. I mean, something about flying is just so freeing. Like, being able to go anywhere. That's, mm-hmm. I think, something which is really cool. And yeah. the fact that there are so many species and, like, they come in so many different kinds. Mm. And, they, yeah, they don't see borders anywhere. They can just uh, True. migrate all over the planet. So, tell us something about the favorite birding spots that you've been mm. in your entire life. Like, what are the top three or top five? I think I liked Basai, but that may be because I have just, like, so many memories with people there. Okay. Uh, then uh, one of the good birding sites I found was Najafgarh for sure mm. and the last one would probably be I mean there is a really good park around my house and I see most of the birds there I mean I started there so I think that has a really close place to my uh, heart. yeah that there's a big forest over there right? yeah. and there's a water body also going through that yeah so yeah, I've also seen many species over there. Uh, do you have any favorite bird species? Like top three or top five? I think I love owls. Okay. I was obsessed with them at one point yeah. of time. Which kind of owl is your favorite? I would say the barn owl. It mm. looks very, yeah, very pretty. I saw the picture that you had clicked of the barn owl. Yeah. yeah. And what about the... Other two favorite birds? Mm, other two favorites would include... Wait. Mm, I think oriental white eyes because uh, when they fly, they make this sound which reminds me of like video games. For some reason, it's like Mario or something. And uh, Rufus Tree Pie also for the same reason. Rufus Tree Pie... Uh, what kind of sounds does it make? So it, it, it doesn't make a video game sound. I mean, uh, when it speaks, it's like uh, in Mario when you like mm. hit that boulder <laughs> and there is that sound of a coin. It's okay. sort of like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have to listen to that again. <laughs> yeah. But uh, like, where where do you suggest like people should start birding? Like, you started birding at a really early age. Yeah. And uh, you said, like, we've seen some of the bird photography you've done. So you've been photographing birds at an early age. But new people who are just getting into birding, where should they start from? What should they start doing? Can you suggest to the viewers or the listeners? So I think uh, birding can start at, like, literally right in your backyard or, like, parks in general. Because I've seen so many species in my backyard alone. It's like I can see green pigeons then like uh tailor birds oriental mm. white eyes what all like mm. they're all there you just have to like want to see them because i mean mm. these birds are all around us but uh just the fact that we don't really it's just like uh, what you said about tree blindness yeah. i think because you sort of uh, forget that they are there you just mm. don't see them yeah it becomes part of the background yeah yeah and like, what do you think is going to happen with the birds in Delhi, or not just Delhi, in India overall? What's the future of the birds going to be like? It is quite tricky to say that because, like, climate change and in general, mm. like, uh, habitat uh, destruction yeah. is quite prevalent. And that may have a lot of impacts on birds. I mean, not necessarily urban birds because they might be able to adapt mm. to our environment. But most of them might just get extinct. Yeah, there's so much deforestation going on. Uh, Like you said, the habitat destruction, the mangroves. uh, Yeah. All different types of uh, 
you know, habitats they all getting destroyed and uh yeah so what do you think that people should do how do you think that we can fix this situation i mean uh, on a very larger level it's a lot about the government and like some things are uh, not really possible on an individual level surely you can contribute by making complaints or like mm-hmm. actually opposing the government because i think uh, i read a news article which you shared once mm-hmm. it was about that uh, they had a meeting about uh, wildlife and environment and it ended in 5 minutes yeah they cleared several projects within yeah. 5 minutes <laughs> uh, so just because someone else may not care about something that mm-hmm. you do I think it might be your responsibility to like counter that since mm-hmm. it is a democracy. Yeah. And apart from that on a very very individual level like mm-hmm. if you do not want to get into politics you can obviously have uh, bird feeders mm-hmm. water uh, dispensers for birds who are passing yeah. by so something like that. Yeah and the su- summer it's so hard we have the heat waves and all we were even uh, distributing those bird bowls. Yeah. Uh, so that's very important these are the things that we can do even it helps with the photography with birds if you put a feeder over there yeah uh, do you think people should uh, get a camera or binoculars or like where should they start from then so i think it depends on what you prefer i mean uh, we started uh, with cameras because we wanted to keep the pictures but there yeah. are many people who actually prefer just seeing the birds yeah So uh and actually binoculars has a better range so you can actually look further than what a camera would uh mm. and it's much cheaper than buying yeah. a very big lens. Yeah. So if that is what you're interested in then mm. binoculars is the way to go but if you mm. like photography then We heard that you're a good singer also. And we were thinking that maybe you can sing one of the songs your favorite songs for us on the podcast today so do you have a song in mind what can you sing right now on the spot <laughs> without any instruments um, no background music i guess uh, one of my favorite nature related songs would be yeah we can hear just a couple of lines uh, how it song we're going to go for what a wonderful world oh yeah that's a <laughs> nice song i think there's some uh, people have made animations also on youtube with that song oh so, i haven't seen so yeah whenever you're ready you can just start give us a few lines and then yes. we're going to play the whisper challenge after that okay <laughs> i shall start i see trees of green where all is to I see them bloom for me and you and I think to myself what a wonderful world I see skies of blue and clouds of white the bright blessed day dark sacred night and i think to myself what a wonderful world yes very good <laughs> <laughs> nice so uh since when have you been singing uh, my mom says since the age of 2 but i do not believe that uh 5 okay yeah that will be interesting and uh you must be having some old videos also of yourself singing in your childhood yeah so right now we're going to start with the whisper challenge we've got some chits back there gaurav is making chits for us today is gaurav's birthday yay <laughs> happy birthday to gaurav and uh we'll we'll just keep all the chits here yes okay so you know how this game works Yes. We got one of us has to pick up the chit. Uh whisper the word to the other person. While the other person wears these headphones with some loud music on it. And we have to try and guess what the word is. All right. So you want to go first? You can take Okay, you choose any chit. Okay. Um 
Where are the headphones? Wait, wait. I got add screen. Hmm. Okay. Elephant socks. Elephant toes. Socks. Socks. Yeah. Elephant socks. Yeah. <laughs> right. That was so easy. Oh, it's really loud. Okay, this one is discarded. Owl? Owl is the word. Owl, one, two, three, four. <laughs> owl, owl is the word. Word. One. Word, word. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> really bad at this. Word. I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, Bird. 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 Can you say bird? <laughs> what am I saying? Bird. <laughs> Read my mouth. Bird. <laughs> bird. Bird. Okay. Whoa. Word. I really can't understand anything. Uh, whoa. Word. <laughs> whoa will. <laughs> okay, I think we'll get up. Get that. It was owl is the word. I said owl. Yeah, owl you got, but it was owl is the word. Is the bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was saying it wrong. <laughs> it was bird. But I said bird also in between. Then you I, I did not understand so, okay. anything. Yeah, now, now you can take a trip. What is your name? Say again. What? Was. What? <laughs> was. I can just hear was. What is your name? W what is your name? Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it might be that I am great at <laughs> making you guess things. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Venomous snake. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Three words. Virain Khanna. <laughs> Rick and Morty. There are three words I do realize. Um, Rick. Virain? Rick, Rick. Water. <laughs> Is it not V or W? No. It's not. Rick. Uh, Mor Morty. Third word. Third word. Morty. Okay. Morty. Block. No. Morty. Rick and Morty. Uh, I <laughs> think. Rick and mm. Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Got it. <laughs> so good. That was good. Was it? <laughs> How did you get venomous snakes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Rick> and Marty. <laughs> you know, it really <laughs> reflects what is in your mind. That is what yeah. will. Yeah. Yeah. I am so <laughs> glad that I do have the ability to hear. Mm. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good uh, practice. Then you'll become a good spy. You can tell what someone is saying if they're sitting far away. So you have to learn to read the Not person's me. lips or facial expressions. So anyway, thank you for coming on our podcast today. Uh, how do you feel? It was your first podcast. So how, how was your experience? 
I think it was much better than what I expected because <laughs> I was very nervous. Yeah, but you sang really well. I thought if I was put in that spot, I would not be able to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we'll see you all uh, next time. Thank you for listening to the Nature Talks podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with everybody.